Well, hello again from Kingston. It's been a funny old week, but a very busy one. So let's go and see what happened. We closed last week with the roadway ready for curbing to be installed and Gertie and all her component parts ready for transport. On Monday and Tuesday, we saw a steady stream of heavy transports arrive. And then the process of slowly and deliberately loading Gertie's component parts began. There was then a steady stream of outloads for two days. And then on Wednesday, with the special transport in place, it was time to load the cab and see it off the site. By mid-morning, she was fully secure, on Gore Road and heading up to North Bay. It didn't take long at all, with the space finally released, to begin filling it to build up the roadway that will link the bridge to Highway 15. This view will perhaps put the work in context. This Power Kerber 5700C arrived from Sousa Ready Mix on Tuesday. And it was very quickly brought into action. Curb work continued through Wednesday and Thursday. And the results are very impressive. None of this should deflect from the considerable amount of work on infrastructure that continues to take place. and the work to prepare roadways and sidewalks for asphalt laying. We shouldn't overlook the fact that the steel structure is part of the east side too, a steady stream of concrete slabs has been laid throughout the week. By week's end, they stretched more than halfway across the span. Installation of the guardrails that will protect workers in the final phases of construction is also taking place. Lumber, to prepare the temporary sidewalks, has already been delivered and placed on the bridge. There's been significant work too on the east abutment. As we move to the west end, we shouldn't overlook the iron workers, who work largely out of sight, installing the reinforcing rod that is the backbone of the structure. Perhaps the biggest story on the West End is the fact that two Gomako runs were made this week and sidewall was poured on the north side of the bridge. And in the case of the sidewall, the vehicles actually sat on top of the deck. 
This is a tremendous sign of progress. Note the concern for quality in the hand finishing of that wall. By Friday, it was time to fold the sheeting that had been curing the first pour. Before we go to wildlife, let's look at the green wall on the west abutment. Fall colours are beginning to appear. And the phrase, mellow fruitfulness, springs to mind. Well, that's caught you up with the third crossing. I'd uh, ask you, please, if you enjoy these updates and you want to continue receiving them, please consider subscribing. It helps and encourages me. In the meantime, stay safe, be well.